I'm high up in the mountains of Dali in Yunnan province. We're at 2,800 meters and why am I here? Well, we've come to look at a wind farm, the Ma An Shan wind farm. And this has over 200 turbines. And we're gonna take a look around and we're gonna show you all about how wind is turned into electricity here in Dali. This is the largest wind farm in the Dali area in the province of Yunnan. And there is actually five phases to this wind farm and they're all controlled from this control center um, behind me. And we're gonna go and take a look now inside to see how it's all done. So this is the control room and from here, they're able to monitor every one of the 251 turbines they have on this site. And each turbine generates an average of 1.5 megawatts, giving a total of around about 300 megawatts total capacity for the wind farm. The power comes from the turbine at 690 volts. It then goes through a first aid transformer which steps it up to 35 kilovolts. And then it goes on to a second transformer, which brings it up to 110 kilovolts. And that is then fed into the grid. So this is where you're able to see the status of all the equipment, right? Yeah, yeah. And this is called a SCADA. Ah, SCADA this is like a digital twin. Um, yeah. yeah, we can control the order system. Uh -huh. see this one. Um, the turbines on um, yellow one. How to speak? How to speak? Uh, speed? Yeah, speed. Yeah. Wind speed and okay. the, the power. The generator power. Uh, uh -huh. The pen, uh, generator rolling, uh -huh. rolling speed. Yeah. Wow. This, this one, you see. You have a lot of data on each one. Yeah. And, and you can get this data for every single turbine. Yeah, every wow. single turbine can be, um, can be seen in this gutter. Uh -huh. Oh, so you can just select one, right? Yeah, you select one to one to about um, about uh, um, 50, 59 to buy here. Uh -huh. And so, for example, these ones are not running right now, right? Yeah. And then here is, so this is generating 410 kilowatts. Yeah. Wow. The, the data is very... Impressive. Yeah. This, mm, so you can sit here and monitor the whole farm. Whole farm. Yeah. Wow. For that's, one person. Yeah, that's very impressive. <laughs> that's really good. And um, I think you mentioned earlier that all the electricity you generate here is used locally, right? Yeah. To a nearby nearby town. Uh -huh. and, uh, um, one day, my um, my son asked me, uh, Dad. Uh, is this uh, electricity we made you you generate? I said sure. That, uh -huh. That's my money. <laughs> so your son thinks your job is making electricity, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm very proud of. Yeah, you. for sure. You, you, <laughs> thanks very much. That's really interesting. Thank you. So in simple terms, can you tell me how the turbines convert wind into electricity? When the wind generates electricity, the wind is powered by the wind turbine. 然后讲业它连接轮毂，轮毂又带动它所连连接的齿轮箱和发电机进行转动，然后的话完成风能到机械能再到电能的一个转化。And can you tell me about some of the latest technology that is implemented here at Ma Anshan Wind Farm? Ma Anshan 中心场站这边，它有一个 AGC 和 AVC 的远程控制系统，它能够做到远程对。呃，风机的故障进行一个远程的修复，然后的话，它还有一个马鞍山中心场站所属的马场风电厂，它是中国国内第一个实现无人值守的厂站，这是非常先进的技术。So based on your experience here at Ma An Shan Wind Farm, what do you see the future of um, wind energy? In what direction do you see it going? In the bigger context of China's overall clean energy goals. 在未来十年呢，嗯，中国风力发电还是会处于一个继续扩大一个趋势，然后在扩大趋势的同时呢，我们的技术肯定会得到一定的创新。在我们的海路上，在风力达到一定瓶颈的情况下，我们会选择去开
，呃，无人值守也会成为一个中国未来发展的一个趋势。Are these the large transformers you talk about before? Yeah. Ah, okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. Awesome. Electricity pylons just here. These are basically what are taking the electricity that comes from all these turbines that you can see all around out of the transformer station into the grid. This will then go and ultimately end up in people's homes to power their televisions, refrigerators, computers. All that kind of stuff. This is one that they're maintaining, and you can see there's some stairs here up to a door. And um, oh my God, it's like it's like huge! Wow, just had no idea they were kind of like this inside. You've got all the control equipment in here. That's the elevator that takes people. Right the way to the top, so they can repair the generators and stuff. How mad's that? Man, it's, uh, I'm very impressed. It's, it's kind of shocked me because I, I never expected it to be this big. I mean, they look big from outside, but you get inside, they look even bigger. It's crazy. Wow. Very, very impressive indeed. That's, that's incredible. It's the first time I've been so close to one. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I just, it's, it's quite in, awe-inspiring. I have the same feeling. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, I only ever see them in the distance. And actually, you think, oh, it's not so big. Yeah. I've actually learned such a lot today about wind turbines. I had a brief understanding of them, but I had no idea of, of that they were that big because um, it's the first time I've really been up close to one. I had no idea they were that big, and inside, you know, I really didn't, and I don't think these are some of the biggest. And um, yeah, it's, it's given me an insight into just what these are like when you get close up to them. So it's been a super, super interesting day for me, for sure. It's easy to see how by coming here to Ma'an Shan in Yunnan province, how it's playing its part in the bigger picture. Now, China are making huge strides towards clean energy. And speaking to the engineer earlier, um, Yunnan as a province now gets over half of its energy, over 50% of its energy from clean resources. That's hydro, that's wind, and that's solar. And that is a massive achievement. And China are actually years ahead of their target for achieving um, their clean energy goals. I believe they're two to three years ahead. And this facility here is just one piece of the puzzle. The company um, who runs this has many, many sites all over China, in Inner Mongolia, in Guangdong, here in Yunnan. And this is the, the you know, just what China are doing to move forward and move away from fossil um, energy which is dirty to this actual clean energy and it's quite amazing really how you know nature by harnessing the wind of, of nature these turbines um, with actually relatively small impact to the environment can actually provide a lot of the electricity that people need you know we're never going to stop people using electricity and you know worldwide the demand for electricity is just going to grow and grow and grow. So it's very important that we um, find ways of producing more and more clean energy. And that's exactly what they're doing here at Ma An Shan in um, Dali, Yunnan province. And I think it's actually commendable. And I think the young team here should actually be quite proud of what they've achieved because it is really incredible. They're standing on here looking at this fantastic view of Erhai Lake. I feel really privileged to be able to come and experience this. And it just points out to me how China are making such huge advancements in wind energy, clean energy. Anyway, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel in general, consider hitting that subscribe button. But as always, for now, take care.